Hey, welcome back everybody. In the previous tutorial, we covered the ability to like and unlike a comment in addition um, for the user to submit a new comment. In this video, we will cover the ability for user to reply to comments, thereby generating replies for a comment down here. Um, so let's get started on how this might work. So what I'm envisioning here is firstly, um, when the user press the reply button, we will bring up a bottom sheet, for example, to submit the re reply to the comment itself. Um, so let's build that bottom sheet first. So I'm just going to duplicate this bottom sheet for new post and just call it new reply. And what I want to do first things first is um, firstly change this text called write your reply. And then I go s reply. Something very basic here. The second thing we'll do is pass in a parameter. So what is the comment we're replying to? So it's going to be a document reference of comments. Um, that's what we need. And then I will um, call this parameter called uh, comment ref. That's what I'll do. And next, when the user presses reply, uh, instead of the old action chain of creating post, let's go create document. Um, and then I'm going to create a new reply and the comment reference will be based on the comment reference here because remember replies is a sub collection of comments. So here I'm just passing in back the parents comment reference and I will set these fields. So the current time of the post, i.e. sorry, the current time of the reply, the reply text, which is this, um, which is the widget states text field. And then I will, the user who created the reply, which is authenticators user user ref. And then what other fields are there? Liking and unliking. Okay, no need to cover that. And then I will dismiss that bottom sheet. So let's configure this action. So the action here is basically replying to this main comment. So let's do this. Um, when they press the reply on the comment, we bring up that bottom sheet. So let's uh, show bottom sheet on tap, show the bottom sheet of new reply. And we'll pass in the comment reference of here. Where is it? Comments document reference. And then I'll enable drag and use safe area just to be safe. And then when, let me just double check this, when a new reply is submitted, we will dismiss the bottom sheet. Cool. So this should technically work um, because we're actually configured heaps of the UI element here to show comments uh, related to replies. So let's refresh the app to see what it looks like and how it works. Okay, now that this app is loaded, we are currently logged in as John. So let's go to this test um, post that we've been using. So Stephen made a comment on himself. Um, let's say I click reply to this comment. It will bring up the bottom sheet. I totally agree with you, Stephen. This is this is a very long post by yourself. And then press reply. You can see here, voila, this is working as expected. So then I can like my own reply or unlike it. Cool. So now that now that I have configured the replying to a comment, what happens if we want to reply to a reply? So i.e. maybe Stephen wants to reply to John's um, reply. Um, so this is where it adds a bit of slightly more complexity to it. I want to use, a, use the same kind of component to do this, right? I don't want to create a new component. So what I want to do here is in the new replies component, I simply want to add another, I, I, I'll, show you, I'll tell you why a bit later, why I want to 
add a reply reference, even though we can simply just pass in the comment reference here instead of the reply reference. Um, the reason why I want to pass in a reply reference here is because I actually want to use this a bit later on um, to populate our notification system. Um, because I want to, because when I use a replies to a reply, I want to populate this reply reference. These are information I want to populate in, you know, store in the back end, and then subsequently send the right notification um, to the right user. Because if I'm replying to myself, I don't need to send a notification to myself. But if I'm replying on a reply that is posted by someone else, I need to send that notification to that someone else. Um, anyway, so that might be a bit hard to understand, but you'll get the logic when we start building it now. So the reply reference is actually an optional field because this field is only populated if we reply on a reply. So I'm going to quickly set this up. Um, the parameter is reply ref of replies and it's not required. Cool. Now that I've done this, um, I'm just going to re show this action. I'll show this bottom sheet. So if I go to untap, what I want to do here for untap is I am going to show the bottom sheet of new reply. And then what I want to pass in is now two parameters, the comment document, which is from here of comment document replies. And then the reply reference is the replies document reply ref, which is the reference here. And now I want to enable drag, use safe area. Um, so this looks okay. And then this should work. Um, now, what do we need to do here? The flow is exactly the same, if I think about it. So here we're just creating a new reply based on the comment reference. Um, so I'll just leave this as is. Because what I'm going to do next, uh, before I dismiss this bottom sheet, in the next tutorial, is cover the notification systems, um, which will use this reply ref, and maybe even more parameters. Cool. Um, now that I've configured this, let's actually do something even further. Let's add number of replies to this comment. So how do we do this? So this is very similar to number of likes. I'm just going to copy the exact same design because it's easiest for us. Add a background query here. So what we need to add is the number of comments. Oh, sorry, the number of replies to this comment. So it will be background query, um, the count. And then what we're here doing here is the um, count of replies. And the comment reference is from variable of comments document reference and the count um, no need for filter and then single count looks good now we're going to access this value so here we would go the number the replies count will get shown and then if the number of reply count is greater than one we will show one uh, replies the word replies else will go reply and then Maybe we'll just do this visually. Okay, cool. Let's save this. Let's refresh the app to see if it works as expected. So I'm just going to bring this up. Okay, now that's loaded, you can see here that uh, we'll have one reply here um, where Stephen has made a comment and John has, and he has liked his own um, comment. You can see one like as done in the previous tutorial. If I like it, you can see it's two likes here. And then John has replied once, therefore it's one reply. And then if I click reply again, another reply, John says. And press reply, you can see here, now there are two replies, um, and so on. What you can do here instead of querying the collection all the time for the number of replies, is actually store that number I um, in the comment itself. So for example, number of replies here as a bully, as a, as an integer. 
what you need to be careful, this is called denormalization of data, right? Like instead of querying it all the time about number of, com number of replies based on the comments, um, parent reference, we're actually storing the number of replies. So you save uh, reads. Um, what you need to be aware of here is that you make sure the number of replies actually is accurate, especially when you offer the ability to delete comments and so on. So if you're deleting a comment, you make sure you decrement the number of replies. If you are submitting replies, you make sure you increment the number of replies or else things get wacky, right? You might be showing um, number three here, three replies, but you only show two comments. So something must have broken uh, if that occurs. So we've covered a lot of ground in this tutorial. So we have quickly configured the ability to reply and then reply to a comment, which I showed you. We can also reply to ourselves, right? Like, so for example, if I log out and go back to Steven's profile, if I log in as Steven, as, at Steven.com, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then go to the same test post I'm using, I can reply to John. So let's just say I reply to John and press reply. You can see here there's, uh, Stephen has just, we just made this post, hello world, and now increment, incrementing um, the number of replies is now three because it's a live feed, just counting number of doc, uh, replies document. And so a denormalized way where we're storing the number of replies on the comment collection comments document itself. So in the next tutorial, we will cover the notification system. What I want to build out in the next tutorial is an in-app notification system. For example, a common use is that kind of, uh, you know, even Facebook, if you can log into the app, there is that notification number at the bottom where it shows you have five unread and so on. In addition, we, I, want, I can configure push notification as well, um, which will allow us to conf tell and notify the respective parties that someone has liked the comment, like the replies, in addition, reply to the comment, reply to the replies. So remember to comment, like, and subscribe to keep updated on this series, or if you like my content. I'll see you in the next video.